the next section, we're going to work through um, angles in triangles. So we need to be able to determine missing angles in triangles, stuff like that. So um, first thing that we want to know is what we call the triangle sum theorem. And you're going to learn next year what it means to be a theorem. We're just going to state it outright right now. And that says the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. That makes us, okay, what is an interior angle and what is an exterior angle? Well, if I draw a triangle, the interior angles are those that are on the inside. I'm going to label these A, B, and C. And that tells us A plus B plus C has to equal 180 degrees. The other fact that we are going to use comes from the exterior angle theorem. And what we have is we're going to have a triangle and we're going to let one of the sides come out. I'm going to call this side Z. The interior angles that are not touching, I'm going to call X and Y. Okay. Notice that this little purple dot, Z plus the purple dot has to equal 180 because they're a straight line. The purple dot plus X plus Y has to equal 180 because they're a triangle. So that's telling me that x plus y has to equal z. And the way that your book states it, it says that the sum of non, okay, it, also, it actually states that the, an, an exterior angle, equals the sum of the non-adjacent interior angles. Okay, so we have two facts that we need to do our work for this. And we are in section 3.2. So let's hope that I can pull up IXL Yes, IXL does pull up. We're going to do both of these in 3.2, triangle sum theorem and exterior angle theorem. Let me move my keyboard over so I can actually type stuff in here. So I'm going to click on triangle sum theorem. Hey, this diagram shows a triangle. What is the value of B? So we're going to actually have to write out an equation and solve the equation. So let me bring out my piece of paper. Sorry about the keyboard uh, cable in the way. So I know that 57 plus 69 plus 6B equals 180. I am going to subtract both of these numbers from 180. That's going to get me 6B equals something. So I'm using a calculator. You can use one too. 180 minus 57 minus 69 is 54. Divide both sides by 6 and I get B is 9. So those are level one questions. Um, let's jump to 
um, level two. This one says find the value of W. Um, I have 25 W's plus 30 has to add up to 180. That means 25 W is 150. Divide um, 150 divided by 25, and I get W is 6. Okay. Well, this one looks a little bit more complicated, but it's still same type of work. I have 30 plus 2A plus A minus 18 is 180. 30 minus 18 is 12. 2A plus 1A is 3A. That's 180. Subtract the 12 from both sides. 180 minus 12 is 168. Gives me 3A is 168. Divide both sides by 3. 168 divided by 3 is 56. So that's all the higher level that you would have to answer um, to do any of these problems. Notice the score. I'm still at level two. Those are 75 points. So you're good to go there. Let me go back and show some 3.2s, which is our exterior angle theorem. Okay. Measure of one is equal to, hey, whatever those two add up to, which would be 150 degrees. One is what those two add up to. Use a calculator if you need to. I'm using one. 76 plus 65 is 141. One is equal to the two not adjacent angles, 114 plus 36, 150. Um, 120. Okay, now this one's a little bit different. Now I know 67 is equal to x plus 36. What, at 1, what plus 36 equals 67? Or take 67 minus the 36, and I get x is equal to 31. So they're a little bit, they've made that one backwards on you. These two are just going to be added because the external is equal to two non-adjacent interior. So 53 plus 66 is 119. Just add them up. 90 plus 32 is 122. This is a subtraction problem. So anytime that you're finding one of the insides that's non-adjacent, you're just going to subtract from the outside. So I'm going to do 136 minus 72. 136 minus 72, and that gives me 64. Again, I'm doing a subtraction, so it's 118 minus 57. One. Add them up, 69 plus 72. 141. Oops, 141. And this is a subtraction, 94 minus 35, 59. Took 11 questions to get to 72 in a little over two minutes. That should be enough for you to get through section 3.2.